Hey everyone, Kane here and welcome to another video of Art of Conquest. In this one we have two big events. One of them is Ancient Literature Research and the other one is Bazaar in terms of Winter Festival. So I have played it a little bit, I have upgraded some stuff, so let's talk a bit about it. So, uh, this particular event has quests, I suppose, for pulling inside of the event. The rewards are pretty much what we all still kind of require. So we have the literature um, resources, a lot of feathers, we have the special books, as well as this can also be considered like a special book, but you can also select it. However, the book uh, or the buffs that we can actually get from the book are pretty OP. So majority of these should really turn into this. Still require sapphires, still require rushes, uh, runestones, all that kind of stuff. Everything in here is kind of useful. So uh, this particular thing, uh, we get free magnifying glasses. Um, or not free, but rather very cheap ones in comparison to what we pay here every day. So you have to do your math, your calculations to not be wasting Lenari and just max it out uh, in terms of these uh, 200 pulls. So after the first day, I think what we're going to get here is 8, 9, uh, so that's what, uh, 18 more. So I'm gonna buy those, and that's gonna be like, what, 178, I believe? 177, so I'm gonna have to get enough for 23 more. So it's gonna be a little bit costly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna manage to get all the Lunari, so I might uh, not finish, I'm not sure, we're gonna see, but the rewards of finishing are actually pretty friggin' insane, because this should be i think about half of the books required for um finishing up that uh, resistance reduction uh thing let me just quickly turn it on so have this it's already at page 11 and the buff right here at page 12 is all units decrease enemies resistance by 40 percent with attacks Thing is, I have no idea how this works, whether it's uh, a different buff for each specific unit, like Dragon, Hero's Army, or all of these units uh, prog the exact same one. Nevertheless, it's 40%, and I mean, it's pretty much reducing both physical and magical, so it's very, very useful and kind of, I guess, an important buff. But since I don't have it, I don't use it, I don't really know how huge it might be. So, decided to play this event. I've gotten a couple of the 10Xs. I've gotten maybe 3, 4 of 1,000, 100. It's not really that much. The percentages are somewhat fair-ish. Uh, I'm really not sure, but I mean, I managed to hit a couple of times this. I managed to hit a few times this. So I can't really uh, say anything bad about it. In terms of exchange, uh, I just bought one sapphire. I bought full keys, bought full feathers. Uh, I got the um, stuff for the, uh, I suppose, the book. Because I thought I was going to require that. Personally, um, if I would redo that, I likely would have just got this and then probably taken the uh, relic stuff. Because at the moment, the relics might not seem that good. But once they release like hero HP, hero attack relics, I'm just going to go all out on them with how many boxes I have, like four or five star or whatever. Um, and these ones likely would have been given enough by the event, but I played it like half of it, then spent all of these, and only then uh, bought the rest of the stuff. So, don't know, but personally, I selected these. I don't really think there are too many other options in here, uh, apart from these. These seem like one of the more important materials to acquire, and after that, I mean, you have a selectable Divine Prism if you require. 
you have uh, these ones for divine or rather uh, those divine special relics or, or stuff like that. Uh, personally, I would again, if you get them, just keep them for hero stats as heroes do majority of it, like hero HP, hero attack, doesn't matter which one you pick. They survive longer, uh, they do more damage, they carry more buffs, less likely you're gonna be um, defeated. So yeah, I kind of suggest for quite a few to play it if you do require the literature materials as well as the dragon materials. Then this event gives the bizarre stuff. So I didn't really even reach the ending, right? So I got to pretty much the round four quest, finished it. And I got a ton of stuff here, even the bizarre materials. And it's already done. And I got majority of these, um, I suppose, uh, collection rewards. Now, what should you get in this shop? This one, this particular one, the 90 fragments, I believe is a little bit overpriced. So I kind of would not suggest to get this because this is like 50% of your bazaar. And in that same case, you would have like too many acorns and you're going to be forced to like buying prisms or any other materials that you might not require. So... What did I select? I selected the feathers, I selected the keys, and I selected the dragon materials. Aside from that, I selected a couple of these um, what's it, dragon tiers because I finished my dragon to level 30 awaken. And after that, I myself selected the rushes since I want to finish upgrading one breakthrough on my research that likely would reduce a ton of damage to my wall because I'm a little bit facing these annoying Rufio wall destructions. Aside from that, uh, the rush, you should probably either max out the dragon tiers if you require them. I think that's 1,120 um, for level 30 breakthrough or max out the energy sapphires uh, simply because this material is very hard to come by. And if I do manage to finish the uh, literature uh, event, I will pretty much buy this straight up fully. Aside from that, it doesn't really seem uh, anything incredibly uh, useful. Uh, I mean, rushes can be selected. Aside from rushes, probably prism materials. I mean, everything else is... Uh, hmm. This has to be or should be done with some calculations, I suppose, because um, they all offer a, like a various amount of materials and from custom utility boxes, it would be different prices. I mean, I would go by what I kind of use and my requires, so I would say probably rushes, probably prism materials, and that's pretty much it as well as the top rewards as uh talked before about those would be my selections majority of the time aside from that yeah that's pretty much it i upgraded an incredible amount of, of stuff like for example my avril had 54 million hp and attack was like 96 so i, I literally gave her what like 20 25 million attack that's freaking crazy then even some other heroes like valerie just skyrocketed in attack but i'm not sure if she's gonna do damage eventually gonna test stuff out and i think my friggin uh Tisifen even hit like 200 million but i'm gonna i think in the very near future redo a formation and place more heroes so placing more prisms might reduce these values a little bit, but it would add more effectiveness on my field. Aside from that, one of the newer things is the uh, hero, the League Gladiator, and I likely will cover a video on him either later tonight or tomorrow. An interesting hero, but the showcase of this hero was kind of fake, I believe. They made him seem to be like a dps or something and i really kind of doubt that he can actually be a dps but we're going to see 
Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. Honestly, a pretty crazy and awesome event. Requires about over 30,000 Lenari. And if you had saved that, that is... A, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, I've probably never gotten so much free materials from any events whatsoever. Anyways, that's it. Hopefully you played it as well. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, do hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. Take care and stay safe out there.